As cardiologists, we all know that our patients with so-called stable coronary disease are still at an increased risk of cardiovascular events. Even if we treat them well with blood pressure lowering medication, lipid lowering medication, and provide them antithrombotic drugs, in addition to uh, lifestyle measures. We also know that inflammation is part and parcel of uh, the initiation and progression of atherosclerotic disease, in particular coronary artery disease. And this has led our Australian collaborators, Mark Nydorf and Peter Thompson, um, already years ago to investigate the potential role of uh, colchicine, a very ancient drug used to treat gout, but now to apply it for the treatment of uh, coronary disease. And this led to their uh, pilot first Lodopa trial that was reported in 2013, in which they tested the hypothesis that low dose colchicine once daily of 5 milligrams would benefit patients with stable coronary disease. Um, the primary outcome of the trial was really very positive, or some even too good to be true and it needed corroboration in other large cardiovascular outcome trials because the first low dopa trial was relatively small it was randomized but it was not placebo controlled so that was when we teamed up with the australians we as the netherlands and we started the second uh, low dose colchicine trial to prevent cardiovascular disease that was way back in 2014 and meanwhile, we have learned the results of the uh, seminal Cantos trial presented by Paul Whitaker in 2017. And it really was the first large outcome trial to demonstrate the potent effects of uh, anti-inflammatory therapy in patients with coronary disease and uh, an elevated CRP. More recently, um, the colleagues from Montreal, Jean-Claude Tardif and his group, reported on the Colcott trial, also low-dose low colchicine, open 5 milligram once daily in patients directly after myocardial infarction. And they also reported an impressive 23% reduction in the main outcome. Meanwhile, we were busy carrying out the LODOCO2 trial. And basically, LODOCO2 was an investigator-initiated double-blind placebo-controlled trial um, to determine if low-dose colchicine 0.5 milligrams daily would reduce the primary outcome of cardiovascular death, ischemic stroke, myocardial infarction, and ischemia-driven revascularization. We um, recruited over 5,500 patients that were actually randomized because we started out with a run-in period of 30 days to test if people were able to tolerate colchicine because that's always an issue. Uh, some people don't tolerate colchicine. Roughly 15% of our participants in the run-in period did not tolerate colchicine or were not stable enough to be randomized or did not want to be randomized. So we ended up with over 5,500 patients randomized to colchicine or placebo and we had a median follow-up of 29 months. We were very lucky to have uh, our last close-out visit late February this year, so before COVID uh, started to impact on our daily practice. And we have been working hard in evaluating uh, the results. Um, we have just reported that we have met the primary composite outcome but not only the primary composite outcome, also the key secondary outcome, which consisted of heart maze, so myocardial infarction, cardiovascular death, and ischemic stroke was strongly positive. Both the key secondary and the primary composite outcomes resulted in a 30% reduction of uh, events in patients treated with colchicine. And in terms of other secondary outcomes, uh, the first five secondary endpoints were also statistically significantly lower in patients treated with uh, colchicine. So, for example, myocardial infarction was reduced by means of colchicine, and the same went for coronary revascularization. So, altogether, these results um, were very much in line with the results of Colcott be it that we were also able to demonstrate an effect on the individual 
components of the endpoint. And there is always the question of uh, tolerability. And once random, randomized, patients in the colchicine group tolerated their drug as well as patients tolerated the drug in the um, placebo group. So in terms of safety, tolerability, we did not see any signals that uh, were very worrying to us. We all know that colchicine is uh, widely available and already used by cardiologists for the treatment of pericarditis. Um, however, how this will be positioned in the treatment for patients with coronary disease, um, I have my ideas, but I would really like to uh, leave this question open to those who have not been involved in the clinical trials uh, that have uh, studied the effect of colchicine. This said, we now have two large cardiovascular outcome trials that show consistent reduction in uh, cardiovascular events in patients treated with low-dose colchicine. And uh, I would like to say the verdict is out and I would really want to uh, uh, hear the reactions of the field.